Mad Munchkin Reaction Theatre. The Guardian Brothers. Well, this was... painful. Sometimes when watching animated movies, or more specifically CGI animated movies that have been redubbed into English, the unmatched dialogue alone is enough to make the viewing painful. Sadly, not only does this film have one of the worst English dubs I have ever heard, but the film's editing has also been butchered, making the entire film simply unwatchable, even with subtitles instead of the dub. The only watchable scenes are the ones with little to no dialogue at all. The film lacks focus, the tone is all over the place, the pacing is like a car stuck in traffic. The engine is on, but it's going nowhere. The Guardian Brothers or Little Door Gods is a Chinese animated fantasy comedy film released by Light Chaser Animation Studios and distributed by Alibaba Pictures. The movie tells the story of the ancient Han Chinese door gods Yu Li and Shen Tu. In ancient times, these door guards or guardians protected humans, but in modern society, humans no longer believe in the existence of the guardians, so now the two brothers are at risk of being downsized by the spirit world's new management. They are now seen as irrelevant by both humans and the other spirits. One of the brothers, Yu Li, decides to release the shape-shifting Nian, reuniting the human world and the spirit world in an attempt to bring back harmony and balance, and Shen Tu tries to stop him. I am probably butchering the names here, but bear with me. While all this is happening, a little girl named Rain moves back to a little town where her grandmother lives so they can help her run a little restaurant that serves only wonton soup. This is the only shop that the Guardian Brothers still protect, as Rain's grandmother is the only person who still believes in the ancient ways. Having this family represent the humans that the Guardians want to protect is fine, but this was made the main plot of the movie. The restaurant was also constantly harassed by a fast food restaurant owner who lived across the street. This whole plot seemed so out of place and should have taken a back seat to allow the spirit world more screen time. The sad thing is, the English version of this movie is 20 minutes shorter than the original Chinese version. They actually made this shorter and more confusing on purpose. What would have been interesting was if the film focused only on the spirit world, or more specifically on Yu Li's journey in finding the seals he needed to break in order to release Nian. These scenes are by far the strongest moments in the movie. They are beautifully animated, for the most part, even if the character animation is still a little wooden. There are also the scenes with little dialogue, no forced pop music. It would have been similar to, say, Samurai Jack in tone. It would have needed very little dialogue. The spirit world itself felt like it had the same logic and tone as, say, Boss Baby. Its logic is never fully explained. The movie has reduced the spirit world to that of an office floor, each spirit simply being an employee. There's constant pop culture references and popular songs forced in here. You know, instead of doing all that, you could use the time to explain how the world works. Even with the narrator explaining things, I was still confused. Make a film about the brothers. Focus on their relationship, their conflict, the journey that Yu Li takes. Make us care that every time he breaks a seal, he loses some of his spirit and ages. Make us care about the family by having parallels between the two plots. You can still tell a story based on ancient myth and legend without forcing pop culture references in there or fart jokes, or characters that are created purely for comic relief and do nothing for the plot. Write jokes that are character relevant. Make the audience care, not just laugh. This is meant to be a movie, not a stand-up comedy routine, or references to movies and songs I would much rather be watching or listening to. Overall, this movie has nothing going for it. Everything is all over the place. The story, the dubbing, the tone, the editing, everything was just wrong. Yeah, feel free to give this one a miss, guys. I sure wish I did. Just close the door on it completely. I'm Mad Munchkin. Stay creative.